Welcome to To Enable Help and in this video I'm going to illustrate how to use how to connect to a To Enable Hub using the web application. So here we are online and we are www.toenable.org and we've logged in as demo user. We have to have an internet connection in order to get to this space. So if you do not have internet you will not be able to do any of this. So I've connected to an internet which is called To Enable Hub. So this includes a local To Enable Hub, To Enable Digital Library. So I'm connecting to the internet through this hub. So if I go to Physical Science, and what we're going to do is demonstrate this in four different browsers. Okay, so this browser is Edge, and in fact, I'm going to start with Internet Explorer, where it is the simplest to understand what is what is happening. So, if I choose week four in physical science, here it brings up a message: only secure content is, is displayed. Show all content. So you need to say yes immediately. Right? It'll change the state. It goes into this white screen, and then it'll reopen the page, and it will now show content which is locally coming off the hub. And how do you know that? Because it's saying up here that you are connected to the default to enable hub. So this would have the name of your school likely and it would connect to the hub in your school. So this is local content. When I press play here, it is not, it is not a YouTube video. If I connect to a, this PDF, it is not a YouTube video. I can also go to teacher resources and I can download, for instance, a PowerPoint. Would you like to open a, this ready-made PowerPoint? Yes, I would. And it's downloading this off the hub and it'll open it up in PowerPoint for me. Um, so you can see here it is downloading from a local, uh, local address. So that is what happens in Internet Explorer. All it did was when I tried to connect, it said, do you want to open insecure content or mixed content? And when it means mixed content, it means this content is coming from the website toenable.org. However, the files that we are trying to open, including this file, is coming off a local, a local device. So if I go to do the same in Mozilla Firefox, now you'll notice in Mozilla Firefox, this is HTTPS, which means it's a secure site. Okay, it's secure because we are dealing with personal data and it has a little lock which says everything's green and everything's good. So if I now go and access the content and, and it's only the content where you, the local content where we are mixing content from a local device and from the website. So I'm doing exactly the same thing that I did earlier and you'll notice here it is not showing the PDF, blank screen. I'm connected to the to enable hub but it's not displaying it. And if you look up here, the lock is not green. So if I click on the lock, it says this connection is not secure. And if I open this up, I can say disable protection. Now what disable protection does is it allows mixed content. There we go to the white screen, the browser resets itself. And hey presto, here we have local content again. So I can access all the video files and all the PDFs locally off the local device. Then teacher resources, I can click on a teacher resource and it says, do you, what do you want to do this? And I can say, I want to open it with Microsoft PowerPoint. There it's downloading it and it was much quicker. Okay, But the difference here is, and now you can see I've got mixed content, it has a line through the, the lock. And it's saying that it's not a secure site anymore because we have a mix of secure content and we have content coming off a local device, which is coming off the To Enable Hub, which the web browser cannot verify as being secure. If I try Chrome, now Chrome is going to be different again, and we're going to repeat exactly the same exercise. And um, the whole purpose of showing you the different browsers is so you can understand as a user that your experience might not be identical. And if the experience you're getting is not what you want, you can change browsers. So uh, each organization that develops these browsers develops them with their own quirks. Okay, they're, they're not all identical. So here in Chrome, we've set it that it automatically allows mixed content, and so it's opened it up straight away. And you can see we connected to the Toonable default hub, but it says here you are not secure. 
Okay, so earlier we had a little green lock, now it's saying it is not secure. In the way that this Chrome is set up, it automatically permits a mix of content. In your Chrome, it will come up with a shield in the top right hand corner here. If you click on the shield, you can then say show mix content. Okay, if I disconnect from here, what you're going to find is it's going to take me and it's going to connect to this is online content again. Okay, and it's still saying it's 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 kept its setting from before, but in fact all of this is now secure. It's only when you connect to a local hub that you are now mixing uh, content from two different sources. And in Edge, and Edge is uh, is the latest browser from Microsoft, which is shipped with Windows 10. We cannot even it will not even permit us to connect to a local hub. Um, however, we have seen some versions of Edge which do. So really going forward in terms of the simplest thing to do is either to use Mozilla Firefox, uh, Chrome or the old Internet Explorer which is the simplest to do. Um, obviously all of them behave slightly differently so if I go to teacher resources here and, and I click on uh, teacher resource you see it downloads it rather than opens it. Whereas Mozilla asks if you want to open it, Internet Explorer asks if you want to open it. So although all the browsers are able to run the website, they each do so with their own peculiarities, if one could use that as a word. However, what's important from this video perspective is that we're able to use this website of ours to access local content, which means that we can reduce, firstly we can speed up, if we play this video, it'll be much quicker than playing it off the internet unless you have a super fast internet connection, so you won't be sitting watching a spinning donut while it loads. Okay, so we'll speed this will speed up the, the video content delivery off the hub and it also reduces the amount of data. So you can imagine if every student was trying to or every teacher was trying to play uh, videos over the internet, it would be very slow so, and it would also use a lot of data. So it's a, a mechanism using a to enabled hub as to how to reduce your data consumption and speed up your browsing and teaching and learning experience. So I hope that it's been of use to you and, and uh, you can see how to incorporate a to enable digital library into uh, your classroom and into your school.